Hello and welcome everyone to this week's CO2 review. I'm Thomas from CO2Base.com. Today we're going to be looking at the 50th commitments of Traders Report of 2024. Before I jump to the review, just a brief reminder for anybody who's new to CO2 analysis here at CO2Base.com. You can find a lot of educational material on this wonderful report that CFTC publishes on a weekly basis. We have some very useful videos as well that can guide you through the analysis process. And if you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel where you can find a bunch of very useful videos. And if you are subscribed, you will be notified if we have another one coming up. If you like the content, please consider liking the video. Thank you so much. Let's get to our review, starting off with corn, which is on top of our list based on a 52 week look back period uh, and commercials net positions, 19% change. And you can see this recent change on the chart over there. It is definitely much greater than average. I'd say top three. Uh, it looks like this signal back from me uh, was the largest bearish CO2 change signal on this one year time frame. It is a very successful uh, change signal pushing the market lower the next few days. But turns out that was actually a, a very good um, t shift in this this. Uh, short-lived rally uh, pushing the market back lower uh, so we are expecting a, a d decline coming in the next few days moving to a five years chart you can see that there's not much of an extreme to talk about the last major extreme was this bullish cot extreme uh, uh, back in july and it seems as if uh, slowly steadily the market is reacting to that signal moving on to heating oil which is our next market here we have a 16 percent change in commercials net positions uh, so we're going to start with the change analysis, but we do see this all time over here. It means that there's an all time COT extreme, both in commercials and in large speculators net positions. But let's start with the 16% change commercials, net, um, change signal in net positions of commercials. This is, of course, a signal that you can see has already uh, pushed the market higher. And not only do we see this bullish chain signal but it is actually a bullish cot extreme all time meaning never in the history of heating oil futures and options data have we seen such an extreme from traders so it's a very significant extreme um, caution is advised because these all-time cot extreme can easily be in the market for many weeks or even months before the market reacts it, it it does suggest that we should see uh heating oil rise in the medium to long term so it's always nice to see both of our main uh cot signals the cot change and the extreme pointing in the same exact direction moving on to platinum we're going to jump over the agriculture complex um for those of you who are new to this channel uh we at cotbase.com combine uh, the individual markets within a category and come up with these uh, so-called complex charts, uh, adding uh, the individual market COT data into one complex COT chart. Uh, that's something for our subscribers. Uh, but coming to platinum, here we have a 15% change in commercials net position. Now, if you look at the chart, it is probably larger than average, but definitely not something I would be too excited about. You can see that these changes do happen regularly um so i would not put much emphasis on this recent cot chain signal it is by definition a bullish chain signal suggesting strengthening in the next few days um but uh if you look at this one year's chart it's it's not that hard to see that it is you know not that significant like something like this over here a bullish chain signal uh this magnitude is is i would say more considerable uh, to me now um, moving to a five years chart we can examine the stress level which is nothing really if you look at this horizontal line for commercials it's more or less in between the most bullish uh, times and the most uh, bearish extreme so not much to talk about there but hey if you are trading platinum and you want to uh, find some other tools then i would advise you to give uh, a look at the ICOT intraday indicator, our own unique indicator that we developed after many years of research, bringing you COT analysis into these short time frames. Um, and this is an example. This is Platinum Futures. Uh, it is um, 
showing uh, the market on four hour candlesticks. We've got the ICOT scores charts over here, which is very similar to what we are used to in classic COT analysis, red representing commercials, green, large speculators. Uh, but uh, the system actually gives you some very nice signals on the charts combined with this after signal filtering out good buy and sell opportunities. This is a four hour candlestick chart. Uh, this will be a one hour candlestick chart. I can show you a 15 minute candlestick chart. And uh, if you want, I can go down even to a one minute. Of course, this is the end of the uh, trading session. It's best to go back, like see during the day what happens during the day. It seems like the one minute is uh, quite effective as well. Um, it's a very unique tool. Again, it's uh, something we developed after many years of research. If you would like to read more about it, then indicators, ICOT indicator, and the ICOT with after signal will give you all the explanation needed. Back to the review and moving on to large speculators COT extreme analysis, we've got livestock complex. So it seems like all over livestock uh, markets, we have uh, a, a more of a bullish uh, COT extreme going on. We talked about the heating oil. So we're gonna move over to the New Zealand dollar. Let's just put the settings uh, tab to the left here. Now we have a little bit more space for the chart. New Zealand dollar, here we go. 262 report extreme in large speculators. So we'll look at the green line, net positions. Very, very significant extreme, suggesting that we should be getting prepared for a bottom in the New Zealand dollar. Followed by the Euro, 248 report extreme. Again, bullish COT extreme situation. And last but not least, we have the dollar index. And that's surprising because of course the previous two currencies were measured in the dollar. How can that be? Well, it is what it is. We have more of a bullish COT extreme, not as large as what we saw back in December of 2020, but still relatively speaking, especially if we compare to 2022 levels, it is a bullish COT extreme suggesting the dollar index may continue its rise. Now, of course, if you are a little bit confused what to do, um, I would suggest always looking at the COT extremes in these individual markets, um, currency markets, combined with some added features from the ICOT intraday indicator. And uh, the two together would be very, very beneficial for identifying good opportunities in the markets. Um, anyways, that's all for this review. Uh, there's, of course, a lot to do here at cotbase.com when it comes to the commitments of traders' data. Uh, as our name suggests, all our services are with regard to the COT report analysis. If you would like to analyze a specific market more deeply, uh, for instance, we talked about the New Zealand dollar, then you can actually do that by uh, selecting the market itself and dig into the data, which as you can see is quite thorough. Um, and you can of, of course chart everything. If you are a pro member, you have the option to um, download the data as well. And as I just explained, we've got our own indicator, the ICOT intraday indicator, bringing you everything we love about the COT reports into the shorter time frames. That's going to be all for this review. Thank you so much for your attention. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And I uh, wish you guys a wonderful weekend. See you next time.